But I want to thank the students who came to us, and Andres and Baldus, because you brought us something we never had before. You made us realize that we're all the same, and you made us take a look at ourselves better, clearer, through your eyes, through the thoughts and the love that you brought to us. And I know we have all been changed because of it. Two for us. Lauren Osowski has the story of a group of kids on the eve of a long ride home. Give me snakes. In just two weeks, friendships bonded between the Latvians and their American hosts. This was the first time in the free world for the eight youngsters and their teachers from Soviet-controlled Latvia, and it was time to say goodbye. It's very strange at the same time because I'm get used to this Clarence and, and these people. And we, I have very many friends here. The students are from an art school in Riga, Latvia. Besides seeing the sights in western New York, they attended classes at Clarence High School. They will take back many memories and some souvenirs. Buttons were a favorite. And they will leave having felt freedom. Freedom from the Soviets is something they yearn for. Approximately 1.3 million Latvians now. Uh, and uh, during 50 years of the Soviet power in the Soviet Union, more than 70 nationalities have diminished. We do not want to be the next. So this is really the matter of to be or not to be. These students from Latvia brought to our students and our families a real openness and awareness of what life is like here. And seeing it through their eyes, I think, was probably one of the best experiences we've had. The Clarence students have been officially invited to Riga for a three-week stay this fall. So this will not be a final goodbye between the American and Latvian students, and their friendship will continue on another continent. Lori Lasowski, Channel 7 Eyewitness News, Nightcast. What am I missing? I'm missing all my film, um, some blank cassette tapes, some batteries, gifts for Ilze. We can split up my soap and stuff like that, my coffee, so you can have something to give to the family. Uh, I'm, I'm, no, Jackie, the only expression that fits right now is this is blows. Put your passport okay. away before you lose it. This is the entrance into the city, and the circular highway runs around it.
under control. Well, I, what do I know? But all I know is I've never been in a gallery that's so hot as this.
So, was your mother joking when she said I had to eat everything? Yes, you must eat everything because in in mornings we eat most of all, and we have such expression that breakfast eat yourself, lunch you can eat together with your friend, but dinner give to your enemy because eating before sleeping is not very healthy. I'm too fat. We have a skill, we have a shoe, we have a Russians living dirty. Today is the 1st of September. It's day of knowledge and also day of peace. But it's just official names of this day. Now you can see the Yaki official flags. Uh, probably people who take them out, it's uh, Russians. And those people who is afraid to don't don't do so. Uh, Latvians don't like these flags. They want to see a uh, Latvian national flags. Tas pilnīgi ir tāds zina lielas klusā dāma. We have brought some gifts for you from the Clarence High School. We have some gifts for you here at the Rosenthal Art School. I have brought many magazines, art magazines, magazines um, published in America, and probably the most important publication that ever comes out of the school is our yearbook. Because you are such gifted, talented, rich, um, 
artists and potential artists, we want to share with you some art papers, some paper for watercolor, some papers for uh, drawing, some papers for pastels in various colors, uh, parchment paper, calligraphy, um, on and on. We have a, a, a little piece of American culture that we have brought to you. It's not a thing, it's an activity. Tomorrow, we would like to teach you the game of baseball. We have brought bats, balls, hats, and instructions. Ginger and Rachel are in charge. Now, there's a first baseman, a second baseman, a shortstop, and a third baseman, a pitcher, a catcher, a right fielder, a left fielder, and a center fielder. Those are all the positions of the game, okay? Now, now the game is set up in a diamond, baseball diamond, okay? You have nine innings, and in one inning, one team is up, and the other team is in the outfield, and then that team comes in and bats, and then that, the other team is in the outfield. After three outs. There's three outs, and what you do is you get up to bat, and the pitcher throws the ball at you, and you try and hit the ball. I'm the red? I don't know. 
to pick things up with a crane. Soap, toothpaste, shampoo, rubber balls, and a pen. Say something. What? What? This is well for me if I put uh, two cards. cards. Yeah. Yes? Yes, very well. Oh. Because you're trying to get rid of all your cards. Yes. Ah, to begin with. It. And it's even smarter if you have another pair that's that's higher than that because if they can't do it. Yes. Then it comes with uh, What can do she? She can do. I'll this way. No. So then the coin try to get in the glass. And when it does, you have to pick somebody around the table to drink. So where is? That's the object of the game. Mazliet ieklausieties četras burtiski, četras rindiņās. Kas tie tādi? Kas klaigāja? Ar sērtām jāatstiņām. Ar sērtām jāatstiņām, ar griezīgu valodiņu. Kas tie tādi? Kas bradāja? Ar melniem zābakiem. Ar melniem zābakiem. Mūsu tēlu tīrumiņu. Tiesa brauca no tā lienas. Nodubļaina sētmaliņas. Nodubļaina sētmaliņas. Kurā grima diventiņš? Nu ir jauki, nu ir sausi, nu var žāvē dibentiņu, nu var žāvē dibentiņu un sarīkot kādu šmucībiņu. Vēl te jums jūs zināt, kam aiziet pirmā dziesma ar Ritkabīļu.
Six days. Can you say ten? Four dollars. Four dollars. Five dollars. Five dollars. Five dollars. Five dollars. You said two for ten. One, two. It's no plastic. This is the one. Is this plastic? No plastic. Oh. You're crazy. Oh, shit. Let's go crazy. One. Just one. All right. Take your own home. So Mark and Scott. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. I bought two hats today. I bought them for eighteen dollars. And hopefully when I get back to the States, I start the bidding at twenty-five. Oh. Make a nice handy profit off of it. What are we doing? Uh, we are we are going for bottle of vodka. It's a special kind. We just in Soviet Union, how we can get vodka at night. We go to taxi drivers and ask them, "Have you a bottle of vodka?" And they said, "Yeah, we have." Those the stores are empty. And if and if in the store there are vodka, there are big lines. It seems to me that now these guys buy vodka by 20 rubles. It's a double price of vodka. And after they come back, they get from five dollars for each bottle. They have 20 dollars. And you know that 20 dollars in black market is 200 rubles. And you know that they pay for these bottles, for four bottles, just 80 rubles. And they are winners again. So, okay? Yeah. Just uh, some historical information as we are going along the streets. As you already know, the Soviet Union is um, consists of uh, separate of 15 separate republics. The biggest uh, mistake that Americans usually do, they think that the Soviet Union is uh, politically uh, the same uh, formation as the United States, but the, the difference is that each republic, uh, 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 you don't have the distinctions of nationalities uh, historically formed as inside the Soviet Union. And each republic here has his own, its own culture and history. Each of these cultures is different and each republic has rights to preserve this cultural heritage. Uh, but during the fi last 50 years we are living under a uh, colonial dependence upon the Soviet Union. A special kind of colonization is uh, migration. No, Soviet Army. During the last 45 years, 600,000 non-Estonians uh, have appeared in this country and uh, are living here. During the last year, Estonians lost about 250,000 people. According to the uh, American, uh, American scope, it, it wouldn't be much, but uh, for our people, it means 25% of all the people, of all Estonians. The only way out of this situation is that the rate of uh, birth uh, must be raised. That means uh, there must be more Estonian children born. Perestroika. They built Russian church. I think it's very ugly. We don't need it here in the center of the town. So what would you recommend if you could? Tear it down? Yeah. No, 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 no. You know why not? You must have your history. That is a... a, a, a part of the history of the country. It was Russia here and the Russian uh, uh, governor, he lived here, you see. 
<laughs> Do all of you know that uh, Greta's grandfather is in the Supreme Soviet? That would be like the Congress of the United States. And he is now in Riga, so probably you can arrange a meeting with him. He would tell us a lot of different things about the situation. Okay. And I am talking about me, as far as I know Gorbachev personally, yes, I am sure that he is orientated and believes in the progressive forces in the Soviet Union, in the, in the, in the forces of perestroika, in the forces of glassness, in the forces of democracy, and therefore he sympathized us, but he knows the situation around him. And the situation at the point of view of many of his comrades from the past, who are conservative, more, con more I wouldn't say even more conservative, who are conservative, yes, he must think about it, because we have a collective leadership. We have not one person on the head. And he is doing everything what he likes. We have a collective leadership. Sometimes he he told us in the in the in the in the, in the supreme in the supreme Soviet that you see I would like to do so and so, but I must talk with my friends in the Politburo, and they will vote. You see, we have in the Politburo a mechanism of voting. It is very democratic, but, it, but democracy is, is, own, is not the best thing in the world. It is better than other things, but not the best thing. It's not the best thing. I think by democracy you, you, you get sometimes not the best persons as presidents, although you have democracy. Not the best one, yes? Sometimes you go up and then it's wonderful, but sometimes you, they are not. So, I have three grandchildren. One of them is my darling Dita. Here, here, here she is. And two young, uh, young, young younger her, her sisters. Both are girls, but they are uh, really boys. Yes, <laughs> only, they, are, they look only like girls, but in the heart they are boys. And then I have a little boy, yes, and he's such a quiet, uh, a, ge a little gentleman. This is my family. The, many of my family were, most of my family were shot here in Nazi, from, by the Nazis in, in the time of occupation. And some members of my family I lost in Stalin's camps, so that I have seen everything, everything, the goodness of fascism and the goodness of Stalinism. And by heart I am a liberal, yes, a liberal and a, 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 in a, even in our people's front I am not the most radical person uh, because I am you see, with dry hair, and with dry hair people got more tolerance so, to some ideas also. I am very strong for an independent Latvia. Very strong. Would you describe what method and direction and time you um, profess is the way in which Latvia will get its independence? Uh, what way I would, what, what I think would be the re realistic way of elections. And there, when the progressive forces, those forces who are for Latvia's independence will get the majority, then will ar arise a new situation. This is the only thing a new situation, a situation where overnight, yes, overnight, today is one, one thing, and tomorrow may be taken a decision by the parliament of Latvia 
to step out of the Soviet Union. I wouldn't say that this will be. You understand? It's not so easy for everyone to understand. It is, I want, I don't say that that must exactly uh, happen. But the possibility to do it, a constitutional possibility to step out will be. Today we have in our constitution and in the constitution of the Soviet Union is a, a paragraph, yes, that uh, every republic, sovereign republic, has the right to step out of the Soviet Union. But there is nothing said how to do it. <laughs> if you don't know, if you don't know how you can do it, must it be a, a referendum or such a thing? But now we have a constitution, and in this constitution it's written that the, high, the Supreme Soviet of the Republic can take every decision, even the decision to step out. So that this will be a new situation. I cannot foresee how it will be. End. But it is the same situation when you are playing poker, yes, and you have the joker in your pocket. But Maybe that in such a complicated situation that there can be a decision to postpone the elections. This is a way where when you can win time, the opponents of, of this situation I described to you, of this situation with the joker in the, in the pocket. Do you think it's a good idea that your young people see the yes. way we live and that we come and see yes. the way you live? Yes. I am not, I don't know what you are what you are thinking about. You see, you have seen now now our way we are living. It's a very hard life. A very hard life. But we are living. And we are the same the same people as you. We are loving by the same way as you, <laughs> and living the same way of you. Also, the life is hard here. And in some way, ah, yes. In some way, I always think we won the war, and now we are living in such a way, and we are a big country and a rich country, and but the living standard is very low. Very low. Communism has always been the enemy to America yes. in the big picture. So we look with favor upon the Baltic cry for freedom and what's happening in Poland. And we look at this with great support because it is knocking down a, a dynasty of communism that we have always, I mean, I'm a lot older than these kids, but. It was always in us that communism was our greatest threat and enemy. Yes, so from you know the emotional point of view you are right, but, but you must always think about history and that we fight against fascism not less heroic than the United States of America. Oh, he's <laughs> lost. No, pagaid, pagaid, pagaid. Papi is occupied. Un tāpēc arī šī nesa un nesaš, kamēr Latvija būs brīva bez savienības. Vienīgais fašists, kas izkār, sarkam balk, sarkam no karoga izkār ārā. Vienīgais fašists. Kurā, vai tu zēgi būs fašists? Kurā? Pieliek, ka <laughs> Nē, kā, kā pieliek. Es izlēju kārā pa, pa durim, man vienu nospēr karogu jau. At Uh, well, already in 1915, the first Latvian troops began to form. Uh, the Latvian army was formed, and in 1918, the Latvian army threw out at first the Germans and then the Russians of this territory. And this monument was erected in 1934, uh, well, just to honor these, uh, we call them the freedom fights, the freedom struggles. Uh, and before this uh, monument was erected, there was the monument of the Peter the Great, the Russian emperor, was standing here.
pictures I showed you, and look at this. When I was here last time, there were just a few, but this is a, it's just amazing. It's impressive. Look at the beautiful arrangements. And they are carefully placed for I'll, I'll take, I'll make my sign in this paper for, no, Soviet army in Latvia. No, no, Soviet army. <laughs> but you can, can do it. A winem protest, CK partia. Protest of the band in Latvia. Yeah, that's a big runa. Yeah. Particularly once or no, never. <laughs> never. <laughs> I don't hate, hate. I just really don't need them. I, I feel unsafe myself. Anyway. What? I know. What? Russians call me. I know. Army. Mm. Oh my god. Kontrolis. Was kurt dat on tam ne? Šarī tad dzēdēņas un <laughs> and when I tell you this time alone don't know what I am, it gets me. I don't know what I am. You know that I studied in art school, but I very usually drink and very, very usually listen to music. But, uh, but when I wanna to start to study the music notes, I'm very lazy and I leave the notes and that now I do nothing. And for three months I haven't painted. And I don't know what happens with me in future. One friend of mine said me that if you draw, maybe you can be a good artist, but no beautiful artist. If you wanna play the guitar or piano, you will be a good artist, but not beautiful. And I, and I get and I understand. Keep. I can be. I will be the very universal man. I can never catch the top of this profession. Sorry, sorry. Okay, do you want me to learn you, to, to teach you some Indian songs? Some what? Indian songs. Is 
our mother. We must take care of her. The earth is our mother. We must take care of her. Hey, young oh, young oh, hey, young young. Hey, young oh, young oh, hey, young young. The earth is our mother. We must take care of her. The earth is our mother. of pure light Hey, witchy child Hi, hi, yo Hey, witchy child Hi, hi, yo Latvian grandmother recently died and her dying wish was to be cremated and have her ashes spread at the Baltic Sea. So we brought them here and this is what Kelly's doing. The Environmental Protection Club of Latvia issued a call for everybody in Latvia to come out on this date on the coast of the Baltic Sea on the beach and to make a human chain and uh, to stay with us for 10 minutes and to pray for the Baltic Sea which is so polluted now that it threatens all the marine life in the sea. Last year we were, we were joined only by the Lithuanians and by the Estonians but this year this uh, event is happening all around the Baltic Sea also in Sweden, in Finland, in Poland, in East Germany, and uh, in Russia too. We call it a prayer at the sea. Uh, but ironically, today the authorities of the town have organized also a pedal event, the so-called town festival. That is why you see so many red flags here on the beach and runners running along the beach. I really don't know whether it's done on purpose or it's just a coincidence, but of course they, they knew that at this time on the beach will be a prayer, so these extra activities seem like... I don't know. <laughs> It was our last dinner at my home. A very sad dinner. And through the window you can see lost sort of thing. so I'll always remember you when I look at my arm. He shows me on his arm and there's this big burn mark. It's great. Awesome. Oh, man. 